Hey Fly Tires, welcome to Avamax Tying Tuesday. My name is Brady Lair and today we're going to tie a Frenchie for you. This is a great traditional Euro style fly. It's kind of a simplified uh, pheasant tail with a little bit of attractant on there. I have my hook in my vise, the C400BL, one of my favorite um, jig hooks for nymph patterns. And then we have our bead. This is the tungsten slotted 2.4 millimeter, or sorry, this is the 2.8 millimeter um, or 764s that we're tying on a size 14 today. So I'm going to start my wire. We're going to do well, seven or eight wraps of this for this pattern. And then that'll slide up nicely under the bead here. And help keep that in place as well. And then we can come back down and add our thread. So we're going to use some Beavis. I'm using a 16 aught fluorescent orange, one of my favorite threads. It just has that nice attractant to it. Get a little bit of UV light and it really pops. And then 16 aught's always a nice friendly thread for me to help maintain a slim body. So we'll do our locking wraps, clip out our tag end, and then we can come in and add our tail. So only a couple materials on this. We have our thread and then we're gonna add it in our pheasant tail. This is the chocolate brown color from Wapsi, a nice rich brown color. Really like the natural materials that Wapsi has. Great color range, lots of variety. So we'll pull off so four or five fibers here for our tail. And we can measure our hook shank, transfer that length and tie it in on the back end here, or right on top. And work back to where that bar would be or right about where that bend in the shank starts. I'm a little long, so let's shorten that up a bit. Just like so, work on back right about where that bar would be or where that bend begins and then we can work forward and I'm going to keep this pheasant tail in place just to help smooth out this transition up onto the lead. And we can cut it out once we reach that point. And tie in a few more a few more fibers. Actually we're going to do our wire next, sorry. This is a UTC. This is kind of a unique color. It's a copper brown goes really nicely with this rich brown and then the, the hot spot color that I'll be putting on here. So we'll start that lead or that wire right behind the lead. Also help with our transition and our taper. And then we can work on back and tie in our next material, which is going to be more of that same pheasant tail. In a similar hank of material, I have, well, it's probably six or seven in this bundle here. Clip off the tips just to get a nice even tie-in point. And then we'll secure that. Just like we did with our wire. And go ahead and work on up. Again, being conscious of our taper. And then we'll build just a quick, again, taper up onto the wire. Make sure we cover that all up nicely here. wrap our materials on forward. Half hitch to keep everything locked in place. This is an awesome Euro fly. Be a good point fly as an attractor. Got the weight to help you get down. You can fish it under an indicator as well if you'd like. Tend to fish this as deep as I can get it being a nymph pattern. But fish well hit it in different areas of the water column. We'll go ahead and wrap our pheasant tail. Before we 
come in and capture it off. couple in front as usual and then clip out that excess and we'll bring our ribbing on forward now not only does this create segmentation of the fly but it's also going to help make it a little bit more durable fish after fish keep those pheasant tails from breaking off on you Capture that behind the bead as well. Spin out our wire. And then we can come in and dub our final material here. Which is gonna be our hot spot. I'm just gonna do a little bit of red. This is the UV rust color. Kind of a rich red. And then it's also got a little bit of purple in it. not imitating any nymph specifically it's more of kind of an attractor that can match a wide array of nymphal bugs go ahead and create a nice little collar here a little bit more dubbing simple pattern to tie great one to learn as you're kind of getting into fly tying and evolving perhaps into Euro style fishing as well. Definitely a, an effective technique if you haven't tried Euro style. It's quite a bit different than how you may have fished otherwise and can be super productive. So we got a nice collar, we'll just go ahead and whip finish it off. And then this thread blends nicely into that bead but also offers that UV pop when that sunlight hits it as well. And a nice quick Frenchie. Must have Euro style fly.